Hi everybody, it's Goddess Jillian and welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. So this is where I sit in my infrared sauna which is an amazing, amazing, amazing thing and I detox and I sweat like rain and I meditate and I talk about topics for a few minutes that I need to hear so that I kind of get them to soak into my psyche and so that I can stay on my path and stay focused and stay positive and abundant and not let all the craziness in the world get me down. So we are in the midst of the holiday season in the United States and this is a really trying time for people mostly because, you know, they have to deal with family and they have to deal with, you know, addressing the year that's gone past and what the successes are and the failures have been. And so sometimes that's hard, you know, looking at yourself. But I really, really am optimistic about 2020 because number one, it's a a oh, totally different numerological energy and more stable and I hope more uplifting because the last few years have been really trying not just for me but for my clients and I think the world at large there's about a lot of you know just a lot of craziness going on um, but today I wanted to talk about something that I've recently experienced over the last couple of years firsthand um, and that is narcissism and narcissistic people okay so I've decided to do a series on narcissism and narcissistic people and how to get away from them number one how to deal with them and get away from them and heal from the trauma and torture that you've experienced by having been involved with them and I'll tell you before I start this series I'm gonna tell talk today a little bit about my theories about narcissism and narcissistic people and that is that somehow humanity is getting disconnected from spirit and this has been occurring over a long period of time and it's really coming to a head and has been coming to a head for a while and you know I can <laughs> I, I, I have theories and, and some of these theories can be interpreted as crazy but you can also take those theories and sort of apply them and interpret the words into different you know meanings so that it makes more sense to people that are more earthly more grounded in earth energy but I'm a very spiritual person and so I believe that there's so much going on even on this earth plane that we can't see because our eyeballs can see like that much of what's really going on and I believe that there are that the 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 human humans specifically are being basically attacked um, by what you or some would call the dark and that can manifest as demons and dark entities that literally want to take us down and keep us from the light and keep us in the darker energies like hate and anger and all that craziness right and so um, I'm gonna get into all of this more deeply and what um, psychology says about narcissism and narcissistic people but basically it, it can't be cured at least not from a traditional medical standpoint there's no cure for it so my thought is that people that are narcissistic and or sociopathic especially really have no conscience anymore and the conscience has a lot to do with your soul and your spirit and when you become completely disconnected from your spirit and your soul that's when narcissism takes over and that's when sociopathic people are born basically and I believe that um, literally dark entities, dark energies and or demons literally attach to the human energy field when you get into a dark place for too long. For example, if you have chronic drug addictions or alcoholism, you can really get um, attacked by dark entities. And if you don't deal with that, they can eventually take over your whole human body and out your spirit 
And to me, the definition of sociopath is somebody that spirit is no longer in their body and they are really being inhabited by a dark entity or demon. And they just want to suck the life force out of the rest of us here, right? And they are very much attracted to and drawn to and seek out people that are empaths with very open heart chakras because heart chakra energy is the highest form of vibration that you can have in a human body and a human incarnation in this low vibrational third dimension. So if you're living in um, your heart chakra energy, which is basically the, the Christ consciousness, unconditional love energy, that's what they're attracted to because they want to take that away from you because that raises the vibration of the planet and the goal is to keep us down and we can never reach the light or a state of enlightenment if you are in dark energy and wallowing in darkness, okay? So that's why it is so critical, number one, to be aware of narcissistic traits so that you can identify them before they get in your life and get a hold of you. Because I'm telling you for first from first hand experience, it is hard as to get away from a narcissist. Okay, they're cunning, manipulative, the expert manipulators. They make you feel like they're the one and what you've always been looking for in your life. And I'm telling you, they're here to take you down. Right? And I fell prey to not just one, but multiple. And I am bound and determined to, number one, protect myself and to educate people about this whole <laughs> epidemic of narcissists, narcissistic people, sociopathic people, and their behaviors so that you can stay safe and protected from this. Because it's critical right now that we keep the vibration of the planet high and save ourselves from ultimate doom. I mean, the whole point of being here is to reach enlightenment again. It's like a big test. And so that's my goal. And so be on the lookout for a series on narcissism, narcissists, and their behaviors and how to protect yourself from them, okay? So thank you so much for checking this out. And this is gonna help me to remember you know, I gotta remember, we all have to remember so that we don't accidentally fall prey, you know, again and again. All right, so thank you so much for checking it out. Have an amazing day and oh, 